What's up, everyone? This is Secluded Dryad, and this is Secluded Games. Uh, today, I got a question for you. I know we went over retro games. I know we went a touch a little bit mods. We'll be doing that another uh, another video. But what do you think of cheats? Flat out cheats. You know the old ones for like NES and things like that. Up, down, back, left, right, whatever it is. Uh, what do you think of them? My take is it all depends on how you use them. There are cheat codes, there are trainers, there are hacks, there are editors. There are so many things to do. But, the one thing I do not agree with is cheating in multiplayer things. Okay, Like hacking your system to be able to have infinite kills on Call of Duty. I do not agree with that because it, 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 it sets a severe imbalance in the way the game is actually supposed to be used. Now, there are certain games that I will beat before I use a cheat code. Okay, For example, StarCraft. Some of the old StarCraft games are awesome, along with some of the newer ones. They all have cheat codes. And the older ones had no penalty if you used them. You would use infinite Vespian uh, gas, infinite money, infinite troop sizes. It didn't matter. You, nothing happened. Now, in the newer ones, you do that, and it disables all che achievements. So, depending on what you lose and what you gain, it really depends on how I use them. Um, there are some games like Trainers that, if a game has an extremely high learning curve, I'll use a trainer just a little bit to see how the game is, and then go from there. You know, For example, there's this game, The Guild 2. Okay, um, I can't remember the publisher, but it's uh, it's an older game. It has uh, the guild, the guild two, the pirates, Venice, I think France, and uh, uh, Renaissance or something like that. Um, and in, there are certain ways you can make a ton of money as one class, but on another class you're hurting. Okay, and it just could get a little hard. So just to learn a few things, you use a trainer, so on and so forth. Um, now, that all kind of wraps into uh, overpowered or balancing or this or that. What what do you think is a little too OP? Okay, uh, Infinite health? Yes. Okay, a little bit more HP? Mm, a little bit more? No. No. Like... For example, on uh, the trainer for the guild 2, they have a button that you could refill your health, which is needed because sometimes you'll have bandits come to try to kidnap you, and if you fight back, they kill you. So, there are times that it's needed. Now, editors. Okay, like one of the biggest editors that I can think of off the top of my head is Prison Architect. You could edit a million dollars into your fund, which makes it boring, I guess you call it, but which would make it mm, where you could do anything, kind of like a, a, a creative mode on Minecraft. Okay, now when it comes to little things like that, it's it's not necessarily overpowered as it is to where you're taking away from yourself, because if you use a cheat code, it's taking away from your experience, your link with the devs, for lack of better words, it adds an element of you don't really care. Okay. Now, granted, there are some times that, like I said, if it's a little hard to do, you know, you have to do something like that. Like in Prison Architect, when I first started playing it, um, I knew what to do but not really the balancing of such. Still at this point, I really don't. Um, there's also unlocks in games like FTL. You could go in and edit your save file to basically give you all the ships. Okay. If you do things like that, what are you striving for? Are you striving to beat the game? Are you striving to complete the game? Like, all achievements, all unlocks, all things like that. And when we're going through cheats, 
Here's one that actually is quite close to me, as in, I hate it, I can't stand it, I want them to go away. Bots in MMOs. Bots, in case you don't know, are third-party programs that will take control of a character or create a character in said game and then do certain features. Questing to give you a high character. Making stuff in your professions. Mining the ore, skinning the leather, getting the herbs. Those type of things are not cheats. Those are hacks. Those are, in my idea, a very illegal way to do things. Because you're spending $15 or more a month to play a game, why in God's name would you want a computer to do it? Mm. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if not, I'll let you guys in. Back during the Lynch King expansion for World of Warcraft, there used to be these bots that would come on. Some call them bots, some call it Shadow Boxers, some call it uh, Dual... dual um I can't think of the name. Basically what it would be would be either a computer program or one person controlling 30 characters. And they would go into a major city, Stormwind, Ironforge, Orgrimmar, Undercity, so on and so forth, and spell out web addresses, websites, um, things like that. And if you guys also know what I'm talking about, what about the gold sellers that go and hack other accounts. Yes, those aren't really necessarily a bot, but it's a keylogger in a third-party program that ends up getting a password. And those bots are sometimes used to throw things on the auction houses to kill the economy of a server. Okay, Things that take four hours to make or maybe a week to make are now like a thousand gold when they should have been fifty thousand. Okay. Now, I strayed a little bit off topic there, but when it comes back down to cheats, cheats been around for years. They are put in by the developers, the programmers, the, the production companies to basically make it where there are hidden things. Some are Easter eggs, some are meant to be in there for the non-serious gamer. And why do I call it a non-serious gamer? Well, if you use those cheat codes before you beat the game, no, that's that's not cool. That's not kosher, (laughs) for lack of better words. Why? Because you're hurting yourself. Plain said. If you want to see more of these, leave a uh, like, leave a comment, give me a sub. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about cheat codes, and um, I'm probably going to make this into a uh, series of what do I think, what do you think. If you guys like that idea, let me know. Follow me on uh, Twitter for uh, more updates, and um, thank you for watching.